Hey man, what the fuck up? What the fuck up, world? How wild? Grand Rising. Bro. I hear a lot of you goofy ass niggas out this bitch, bro. And now I see what motherfuckers be talking about when they be talking about bloggers and shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand this shit now. You understand? First of all, don't don't sit up here and explain to me woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know what I'm saying? When your ass wet nil, when your ass looking from the outside, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, man, first of all, we don't know what happened with dog security. Straight up. We don't fucking know. You understand? But me being in those kind of situations, I could know. I can, I can make some kind of educated guesses. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Dolph himself might have told them boys to stay in the goddamn car. You understand? But for all you motherfuckers who sitting up here thinking that y'all are street and y'all playing street games and all this other shit and, and y'all, y'all, y'all using these catchphrases and shit like lacking and all this other shit. Man, bro, listen, man, your life is not like that. You need to stop for your life be like that. You niggas be tripping, bro. You niggas be tripping too hard. Maybe y'all listen to too much hip hop music. Man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But when them motherfucking shots let off, nigga, if you not letting off them motherfucking shots, your ass is ducking. Fuck you niggas got going on. And even if them boys was there, let's just say they was there, bro. They in the fucking Lambo. They in the Lambo. Nigga, they had reports saying that they got off some shots. That was, that was, listen, man. Listen, man. If they got on some shots, they was some good ass security. You want to know why? Because they getting out of fucking Lambo. Suicide fucking that guy goddamn doors. But see, what it is is, uh, it ain't never enough. It ain't never enough for you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers want to be the motherfucking be the problem solvers and want to solve the case and all this other shit. But you don't do shit for yourself in real life. And I'm talking to you motherfucking bloggers who sitting up here reporting this goofy ass shit. You understand? Like life ain't real life. You understand? Y'all niggas got a nigga pissed the fuck off. Man, look here. Let's just take for instance. Let's just say a big YouTuber. Hassan Campbell, allegedly. Man, bro, sit your bitch ass down, bro. Talking about the kids, this and the kids, that. Look at here. I'm one of them motherfuckers. I tell you, hey, man, after 12 years old, the kid gone. Y'all wasn't paying attention in the most important years. We talking about six, seven, eight, nine years old when a motherfucker remember the most shit that you gonna, that, that, that's going to be in your brain for fucking life. You understand? Y'all don't understand that shit. So how the fuck can you help the goddamn you? Use a fucking, listen man, allegedly, to me, use a fucking goddamn pedophile. Why are you worried about the children when we've got fucked up ass goddamn grown ass children out here? Literally. Motherfuckers sitting up here looking for the latest news on bullshit. Because that's all they interested in. You can't blame them. They're not, an inter- they're not interested in the motherfucking important shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm rambling. But, like I was motherfucking saying, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a lie today. We're going to talk a little bit about Dolph, but we're going to finish up this, uh, this Ezra Blunt shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to wrap that up today. If we don't, we're going to wrap it up tomorrow. But, like I was motherfucking saying, dog, the bloggers, y'all look fucking goofy to me, man. I done been in them type of situations. When you sitting up here waiting on a nigga who just walked in the store to get some cookies and ice cream, and shots let off, oh, your first reaction is, you you motherfucking Rambo, huh? You finna grab the Draco, and you finna let off shots. Bah! Bah! 
I shot the nigga. And y'all, please lose me with that Soldier Boy shit. One thing about it, two things for sure. Y'all can't mistake that Hollywood shit for this down south shit. You understand? In my dog lives, you know what I'm saying? And in, in the shows we done did plenty of times. I reiterated, dog. You know what I'm saying? Once it's beef down here in the South, dog, it's always beef. You understand? Always on some get back shit. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all niggas. Niggas was retarded, bro. Like I said, man, when I heard in other videos, a lot of people was talking about, yeah, this was all for nothing. Yeah, it was all for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I had a homeboy die about a bitch. You understand? I had a homeboy die about a bitch. That everybody was fucking. But that's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, we talking about $20 million laid down on the fucking ground. But we want to talk about, we want to help the youth. We want to help our people out of something. How the fuck we going to help our people out of something when we steady killing the ones who got something or demonizing the ones that got something? This is why I reiterate because I don't want to contradict myself. I tell people, I, I if I love the content, I love the content. You understand? I'm not going to sit up here and say, I hate this person. I hate all their content. That's not me. You understand? I am a human at the end of the day. But I'm a fucking God when I speak, man. You understand? This is why I roll by myself. A lot of people know that shit. I can sit up here and be like all these other sense the motherfuckers. This ridiculous and all this other shit. Man, none of that shit matters, bro. When I actually know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. A nigga said, damn, lost Dolph. But even Dolph himself, you know what I'm saying? Would be on some, hey man, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. Keep that shit moving. You know what I'm saying? The nigga tell you in his music, run it up. You understand what I'm saying? But I digress. Because, like I said, man, a lot of these so-called celebrities and shit, just to get to the next level nowadays, you got to be involved in a lot of shit. And it's so sad because it's a waste of fucking talent. You understand? Not on the artist's part. On the fucking industry and the company's part. Because instead of growing your company, you're stealing money from your company. You understand? Just imagine the growth and potential that these other artists could have put in. You understand? But they're so scared of motherfuckers changing the narrative because it, it's natural that we want to do better. How the fuck you think this man was going to a, a fucking turkey drive? It's natural that we want to do better. But the labels don't make money off that. At least that's what they think. You would make a lot more money. Look, man. Drake himself. Drake himself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to excuse me, man. I'm a real YouTuber, bro. I'm at work. And guess what? I'm finna take a motherfucking piss. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still talk to y'all. I'm just that real. Because the message is more important than me. But my whole thing is, like I said, dog, you know what I'm saying? Drake blew a whole budget on motherfuckers at Walmart. Ain't nobody say nothing. Nobody said nothing. But I just want to, uh, let me see. Uh, oh, oh, what else I wanted to do? The, the fucking Draco shit, man. Y'all niggas, hey, look, man. Entertainment. That's what Soldier Boy is. Entertainment. Like I said, if you've been following him, like I said, I don't know. People be in and out of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people blame it on the youngsters and shit for, for hip hop changing. Nah, it's really people being in and out, being so so. Oh, I like this nine days and everything. But if you a a, a, a follower of hip hop like myself, you you tend to be nosy. Let's just say that. 
So with Mr. Draco, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead and lay off that heat. Cause man, look at him, man. Regardless of what Draco tell y'all on the internet, I don't hear Draco name. You understand? I hear Hancho A1. Y'all don't even know who that is. I'm going to just say this. I'm from Duval. And I know who Hancho A1 is making shit move in the streets. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? But y'all y'all got to understand. If you're going to do your research, do your research. But all that shit finna change anyway. So you might as well get your shit out. I don't know if y'all seen that shit. Motherfucker was reporting on Tasha K and her lawsuit she got with Cardi B. Listen, man. When that bitch lose, and she will lose, Tasha K, it's going to be a sad day for us motherfucking YouTube. Because we really going to be on lockdown now. That's why I, I, I'm going so hard and I don't give a fuck. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about I'm on, I'm on some YouTube thieving shit. You know what I'm saying? If I want a clip of somebody, I go and record somebody who ain't even got no motherfucking goddamn copyright on their shit and record their shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm stealing shit. I'm taking content. And just to make my point, fuck all y'all. For real. You know what I'm saying? All that bullshit ass motherfucking pride y'all talking about. If YouTube the streets, shit. you see me out here in my stepper gear. Fuck wrong with y'all. Cause this shit ridiculous, man. It, 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 it's too much of the same shit every weekend. Every like just like my bro said, like, bro, nigga tired of this shit, bro. Nigga tired of this shit. So with that being said, a nigga just gonna stop pointing out the real. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, all right, let's real quick, real fast. Hold on, y'all. Let's talk about Mr. Trishan Blunt. And this is just a preview to my video. Because a lot of y'all like receipts and all this other shit. But my whole thing, if I research it, then goddammit, the receipts is in my head. So I'm telling you, that makes you go do your own research. You understand? Like I said, man. Uh, when the child is born by their mother, when the child born by their mother, they're attached. Mr. Ezreal Blunt, the little boy who allegedly got stomped on and all this other shit, where was his mother? Nobody knows. You understand? Why does his daddy not have more updated pictures of him? What y'all seen was two pictures from the day of you know what I'm saying? Which was suspect like a motherfucker. And I, I'm going to touch on that. And then y'all seen some younger pictures. Y'all, listen, honestly, man. Honestly. Do those pictures look the same? Do those pictures look the same? Or do those look like two different kids? Did we watch a kid napping? What the fuck did we see? Y'all don't understand. We we'll probably never understand, but it's just the whole simple fact. The shit that we seen wasn't the shit that we seen, allegedly. You understand what I'm saying? To me, it was a ritual. Why does the father, around this time of, let's go say, uh, Holy Christ getting ready for Christmas or whatever, however that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Really, when this time of year is just a, a, a fucking excuse to motherfucking kidnap and murder and rape ch children, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? That's the fucked up part about the shit. But we celebrate Halloween and Thanksgiving. To these motherfuckers, allegedly, this shit means something else. Straight blood sacrifices. There's many ways to look at death. This is why they made a book about death. They have so many concepts about death, but everybody think they live in life. This shit is funny, man, because it's ass bikers. You ain't really live life until you experience death. You know what I'm saying? I got hit by a car when I was uh, a little boy. Before I got hit by that car and I had time to sit up there and ponder, 
Yo, hold on. Fuck that spider right here. I'm gonna come get some money. But he still got that. Ugh. Well, let's just hope that motherfucker don't bite me. But um like I said, man, before that and even in me being the age I am, you know what I'm saying, at seven years old, I I realized like god damn, I was already leading a fucked up life. You know what I'm saying? Six, seven years old. Man, I used to hit on girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, punch the shit I didn't I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no father figure in my life. My mama, I used to not listen to what the fuck she said. Like, this was how I realized. You know what I'm saying? Just pondering back on, you know what I'm saying, what my life could have been. You know what I'm saying? Until I got hit by that car. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like no, oh, this is your path type shit. It was more like, you know what I'm saying, following the evidence of what I should have changed. Those were fucking warning signs. But I didn't know because it was no father figure in the home to whoop my motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, I got hit by a fucking car. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. And even to that 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 particular day, I didn't even know, you know what I'm saying, how serious it was. I could have died. I didn't even fucking know that. You know what I'm saying? When I got hit and I was still alive, I thought it was something normal. Barely a scratch on me and everything. But now being older that I am, I know niggas is protected by the yoke. You know what I'm saying? But I got off subject. You know what I'm saying? What I meant to uh, get back on is, like I said, we were talking about Ezra Blunt. And um, like I said, man, they showed you two different pictures. You seen a little boy. Wasn't it? Those are ain't ain't the same little boys. You know what I'm saying? And where's this family? Like this like y'all gotta understand, man. People will put anything in your face. I think it was nineteen sixty eight or nineteen eighty something where propaganda was illegal to pitch to the public. You understand? And this is like I think for national security reasons type shit. Meaning that if they feel deemed that you don't need to know some shit, you won't need to know some shit. So having intuition and, and, and discernment at this time is very fucking important. You understand? And y'all should be concerned. I mean, just ask these simple questions. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm going to do a video on this daddy today. But ask these simple questions. The little boy was stumped out on Friday. They didn't find him till let's say, Saturday or Sunday. Monday, they come out with the story. Tuesday, they have a lawsuit. By Thursday, Friday, Ben Crump, the actor, comes out and announces to ET News, Entertainment News, that the child is dead. But you can call a press conference for any other motherfucking thing else. But y'all ain't caused no press conference for that. You know what I'm saying? To show no wounds or uh, anything that is speaking. Any family members. Y'all always pulling family members out, but ain't nobody, y'all ain't got nobody to speak. Not even the motherfucking tearless fucking goddamn grandfather. Y'all just gonna tell us he dead. And that's that. When this some shit that can get motherfucking exposure like Emmett Till. You know why they don't do it? Because they're trying to hide it, put it up under the bed because it's not fucking real. How we know they don't they ain't kidnapped this little boy. You know what I'm saying? We don't fucking know. Because we don't have any authentic family members to come out and say any fucking thing. Anything. But we sit up here and be so shallow and go for anything. They showed you, I'm gonna say the total of five to six pictures. And y'all hopped on it. I was suspicious from the start when these motherfuckers say they reached out on Ezra Blunt. And this was after, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I started the fucking hoax rumor about this shit. Like, is the little boy real? Is the pictures real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga can go so much in the depth. You know what I'm saying? Because it was so much Masonic shit. You know what I'm saying? Down to the little boy's shoes. Even the way he was standing. Y'all go to the J Prince uh, when he hit, when he was in front of Kanye. It's that one-legged stand shit, that Masonic ass shit. Somebody told him to pose like that. 
this is me saying allegedly. But I don't know no boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, it could be because I I known motherfucking Masons to enter. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was in ninth, tenth grade, and dude was already on the like junior Masons and shit. You know what I'm saying? At that time, I thought it was the shit to do. But you know what? Thank, thankful that the spirit motherfucking guided a nigga towards a, another place. Because the more harder I tried, the more that it, it pushed me away from that shit. And this is how I feel like I'm the person today. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like don't shouldn't no individual be guided. You understand? An individual should be allowed to do as thou wilt. You know what I'm saying? They should choose what's right or wrong. And they know what's right or wrong because if you are a part of everything, you know what I'm saying? Then you have natural motherfucking intuition to know what's right or what's wrong. You don't take a life, especially if you ain't give no life. You know what I'm saying? This shit is supposed to be a natural process. Where people get fucked up is they think a, a natural process is Disney World. A natural process is fucking chaos. Which to me is misunderstanding. That a lot of people can't see. They call it black. They call it the void. Whatever the fuck ever. But it's just a whole simple fact. That's just like with Dolph. You know why I can sit up there as a fan and accept Dolph? You know what I'm saying? Passing. Because it was... It's all the reason behind everything. Can't sit up here and dwell like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers want to regurgitate some shit, what he should have did and how he should have did it. Man, y'all sound goofy as fuck. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking up for the goddamn shooters, allegedly, because I'm at the uh, security. My bad, excuse me. But uh, for the security, because maybe they was in the car. Like I said, they was in the limbo, like, just to even get off some shots. You understand? Y'all don't even fucking understand. The shit happened quick. But see, since y'all so shallow and y'all never experienced that and only watched it in the movies, y'all would get on the internet and express your shallow thoughts. But like I said, man, I'm John Horse, man. I just got an opinion. And um, just to elaborate a little bit more on the Ezra Blunt story. Like I said, they showed you 67 pictures. They told Ben Crump made it the official statement to ABC. Houston, I think it was Channel 2 or Channel 11. That Ezra had passed. Now they want privacy and shit and prayers. The fuck? But they got a GoFundMe and they got a lawsuit going. Like I said, I'm going to finish my video on the reaction uh, reaction of the people afterwards and the fucking false ass lawsuits and just the fakeness of all the shit. You understand? It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's no uh, uh, authenticity. Genuosity. Gen genuosity. However you say it. I'm from down south. We fucked up in Iceland. But Y'all understand what the what I'm saying? There's no, there's no realness in these fucking videos. Whether it be an interview, whether it be a course of action, them motherfuckers running through the stampede like the shit looked it fucking coordinated. You understand what I'm saying? So, me as a, I guess, quote unquote, YouTuber, encourage you to motherfucking call, listen, like, share, subscribe, and, and if you have discernment in what I'm saying, comment go do your own research give me some video links saying bro you tripping i don't mind you know what i'm saying because all i'm doing i'm calling this shit out and moving the fuck on because i see it how i see it i've been doing this shit for too long not to see it how i see it you understand like i said the ezra blunt shit was fake to me i gave y'all plenty of reasons and we're going to go over some more reasons. Maybe two, three more videos. But. Just go look at my videos, man. If you haven't seen them. But how are Grand Rising? I'm just finishing up work. 
So I had to stop and go ahead and finish up this video. But, um, yeah, man. I'm not trying to say the world, but I definitely got a fucking opinion, man. So how are Grand Razzie y'all be?